Thank you for joining us here today on Rainbow Kids Corner. Today we have a beautiful information for you in the form of Bible trivia. And we have one of our Rainbow Kids that's going to present the Bible trivia to you and you too. And these precious little Rainbow Kids are going to give the answers. Are you all excited about doing that? Yay, yay, yay. And you know what? The Rainbow Kids that are watching you and listening to you, they can share in on the answer as well. Isn't that wonderful? Yay! We have with us one of our Rainbow Kids, and his name is Christian McBride Sampson. He is going to be our moderator for this Bible trivia. Christian. Well, let's start. Who is the father of many nations? A, Ishmael, B, Abraham, C, Jacob. B. B. Correct. And what's the answer? Abraham. And Abraham. And Abraham. the scripture is Genesis 17 through 1 through 5. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Abraham, and that's Genesis what? Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 through 5. Genesis 17, 1, one through, five. through 5. All right, next question. How many stories Dex was in, the, in Noah's Ark? A, 2, B, 3, C, 4. He was, oh. he was first. 2. The answer is 3. And the scripture is Genesis chapter seven, I mean chapter six, verse sixteen. Okay, so there's how many stories? Like a two-story house, three-story mm -hmm. house. Okay, okay. And so it was a three-story. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. You know what? I bet there are a lot of people, including adults, that did not know that answer. And once again, the scripture can they can find the scripture. Where? In Genesis chapter 6, verse 16. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Did you all know that there were three stories and not just one story? You didn't know it either. Okay, wonderful, okay. Let's go with the next question. When the people were building the Tower of Babel, what did God do to them? Ooh. A, confused their language. B, blinded their eyes. C, closed their ears. She was first. Cheers. Mm. No. The answer is. Uh, uh, he, let them answer. Okay. What's your. Three. B. No. What's, what was B? <laughs> the answer is A. Confuse their language. They and you can find a scripture in Genesis um, chapter 11, verse 1 through 9. Genesis 11, 9. 1 through 9. 1 through 9. Uh, God. When they were building the Tower of Babel, God confused their language. And, and he did that because, first of all, they were disobedient. God had told them, they, they built, it was their intention of building the, uh, the Tower of Babel in order to, uh, <laughs> the next flood that come, they, it was their intention to <laughs> be able to get into heaven. You know, from, from um, from uh, the tower. But God had told them that the world would never be destroyed again by water. How would it, do you all know, how will this world be destroyed the second time, which is the last time around? Oh, I can't answer. You, oh, you can't answer, okay. Okay. No, not a storm. You can answer, dear. By a fire. By a fire. The next time around, the world will be destroyed by a fire, not by a flood of water. But they didn't trust God. They did not believe in him, believe in his word. And so, therefore, they took matters to their own hand and started building this tower, building this tower. And God confused their language. They were not able to understand each other. Like I'm talking right now, and you all understand what I'm saying. They were not able to understand Miss Gant. Another way, mm -hmm. another uh, each way other. God did that because they didn't love God and they disobeyed him. 
They disobeyed God. Okay, okay, let's go with the next question. <coughs> how long had three, I mean, how long had there been no rain when the prophet Elijah prayed? How, okay. A, two years, B, two and a half years, T, three and a half years. Mark. Yeah, that's correct. Three and you can find the answer in First Kings chapter 17 through 1 or Luke 4, I mean chapter 4 or verse 25. Okay, repeat that again. You can find the chapters, well, the scriptures in First Kings 17, chapter, I mean verse 1 through, 1 through 12 or Luke chapter 4, verse 25. Okay, all right, wonderful. Let, let me make this suggestion. If you will hold, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's much better because, therefore, your volume don't go down. You yeah, just hold it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Sit up, baby. Sit up. There you go. Okay. All right, then. Okay. Next. What was Belshazzar's other name? A, Daniel, B, David, C, Darius. Huh? It's no D. <laughs> no, it's A, Daniel. Daniel. Because, and the scripture you can find it in is Daniel 1 through 7. Daniel 1 through 7. His name, Belchild's name was Daniel. Okay. Where did the Israelites wander, wander for 40 years? A, in the mountains, B, in the valleys, C, or in the desert? Marcus? A? No. C. Yeah, C, in the desert. All right. And you can find the scriptures in Numbers 32, verse 13. You can answer. Where did Jonah spend three days and three nights? Where, well, where did Jonah spend three days and three nights? A, in the fish? B in the tree, C on a cliff. Cherish. No. Let him. Look. A. <laughs> he said A in the fish. You can in the belly of the whale on a big fish. Oh no, it was the fish. Okay. And, and the scriptures on that? It's Jonah verse, I mean chapter one. Verse 17. Jonah chapter 1. Verse 17. Verse 17. Okay. All right. Who built the city uh -huh. of Nevaeh? Mm -hmm. All right. Got a hand. C? <laughs> no, it's B. Nimrod. Okay, read that again. They didn't hear it. Who built the city of Nevaeh? Nineveh. Nineveh. Who built the city of Nineveh? Nineveh, yeah. <coughs> A, Cain, B, Nimrod, C, Enoch. C. No. A. No. Okay, <laughs> name but one left. <laughs> B. Yes, it's Nimrod. And what's in the, what's? The chapter, I mean, well, the scripture is Genesis chapter 10, Verse 8 through 11. And that was King Nimrod? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's N-I-M-R-O-D. Yes, ma'am. When spell it out for the sake of the, of the audience, uh, for the sake of the audience, so they'll be able to look up those scriptures and pronounce those names and that sort of thing and all. Yes, You're doing such a wonderful job, Kristen. I'm so proud of you. And you're only, what, 10 years old? It's hard to believe. <laughs> I really was thinking you was a teenager. Thought I was gonna have to promote you up to the listen to our teens show. Won't be long. Sometimes. It won't be long. You know what? It is time for us to do what? Break a breaker. Break a breaker. Break a breaker. We got to do this break a breaker. Break a breaker. Break a breaker. This is my baby here. Break a breaker.
Prior to going into the break, Christian was sharing with us Bible trivia, various questions and answers in the Bibles as well as the scriptures. Um, I'm going to deviate from that for just a few minutes um, and share with you all this story about this poor little boy, how God blessed him abundantly. That was, and, and by the way, my former pastor years ago, Pastor Tommy Lee Blevin, he shared this, this story with our kids at our church. And it was very touchy, and I want to share it with you all. That all right? Yes. Okay. Now, I need you to turn and listen to Sister, to sister again. Okay. Now, that was this poor little boy. He was very, very poor. He was hungry. Clothes were all raggedy and dirty, and he was kind of smelly. And um, his parents had died. And so he was like out there on the street by himself. But there was this old man in the neighborhood. He saw the little boy. He knew that he could not take care of this little boy himself. But you know what he told the little boy? He said, he said, what I want you to do, he said, go down the street and go up this little hill and you'll see this big, tall, big, real, real big, 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 big house. You go there, you ring that doorbell and when the lady come to the door, I want you to smile at her and say, John 3. 16. And that's exactly what the little boy did. He went there, he rung the doorbell, and this nice lady, she came to the door, and he smiled. He was nervous because he was so poor and he was so hungry. He was shaking. He said, John, 316 and she smiled she has such a beautiful smile she said come on in baby come on in what's your name and then he went in with her and the first thing that she did she put him in the bathroom had him go to the bathroom he took a good hot shower and she gave him some brand new clothes now the clothes, she didn't have no kids clothes, but she gave him a brand new t-shirt. And I would love to think that that t-shirt said Rainbow Kids Corner. Hey, but anyway, he took a good hot shower. He put on that brand new t-shirt that probably said Rainbow Kids Corner. And then from there, he was smelling good. He put some baby powder on him. Then, you know what, what else, what the lady did next? Fed him. Ooh, yes, some food, food, food. I can smell that food right now. I wish you Yeah, you going ahead of me. You too smart. Yes. And she took him into the dining room. She had this real long dining room table. And all that good smelling food, that good looking food. And that little boy, he ate, he ate, he ate, he held his stomach and he would eat with his hand. Eat, and every, the one was wondering why was he eating like that? Because you know what he did? <laughs> that food was so good. It's been a long time since he, since he had a good hot meal. <laughs> and food tastes that good. He measured on and ate a little bit too much. His stomach started hurting a little bit. And then after that, you know what happened? What happened? Well, he went to the bathroom, that's true. But it was almost bedtime. She let him stay. Yeah, she, she let, let him stay the night. Yes, she did. She read to him a bedtime story. And I know what it was. What was the name of the bedtime story? Was it John 316? Was it John 316? Yeah. And you know what? That little boy. Yeah. When he was taking a shower, when he was taking a shower, you know what he did? He said, you know what? I 
I don't know what it is about that John 316, but it sure do make a dirty boy clean. <laughs> and then after they ate that good old food, he's good old food, good old hot food. Mm -hmm. And then he said, you know what? I don't know what it is about that John 316. But it sure make a poor hungry boy belly be full of good hot food. John 3.16. And then when she got ready to share with him the bedtime story from the Uncle Arthur Bible book, that is the story she shared with him, John 3.16. And after she shared that story, she took to, tucked him into bed. And, and before he, prayed, he went to sleep, he prayed. He prayed. He prayed. He prayed. You were so smart. I know you. Yes. 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 Uh huh. And you know what? When he prayed, he said, "Lord." I don't know, I don't know what it is about that John 316, but it sure make a tie boy. Give him some good, long-needed sleep. Now, are you all familiar with John 316? Yes. Tell me, what does John 3.16 say? For God so loved the world that he Come gave on. his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but has everlasting life. All right. You all are too smart for me. Because let me tell you, when I came, I'm going to tell you what my plans were. I was going to say, I was going to recite John 3.16 and have you all say it along with me. But I didn't have to do it. Y'all too smart. They say that at the church. Yeah, you know what? I can't get over on y'all. Y'all too smart for me. I got to find <laughs> something hard that you all don't know in order to be a, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? It's time to do something. Breaker, 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 breaker. Do you know what time to do the break? Break a break. break, break we'll take a break. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Thank you for joining us here on Rainbow Kids Corner. We are going to resume our Bible trivia with Christian McBride Sampson. Christian. Um, today, guys, we're going to try the game a little different because everybody didn't get a chance to go, so we're going to do it by each individual. Is that okay with you guys? Okay, so what happened when Jesus died? A, an earthquake, B, a thunderstorm, or C, a great wind? Markel? C. Cherish? B. The answer is A. An earthquake. And you can find the scripture at, well, it's actually no scripture for that one. But you said that when Jesus died, an earthquake took place, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, then. Let's go with the next question. Five. Mm -hmm. Who did Anias heal of blindness? What was that? Who did Ananias heal of blindness? A, Peter, B, Paul, or Saul, or C, Timothy? Mm -mm, it's his time. Oh. Yeah. Marquis? Marquis. Huh? B. The answer is correct. It's B. It's Paul. And the chapter, and the scripture is Acts 9 through 8. 
And that was Ananias. Was it An you said Ananias? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the scripture again is Acts nine through eight. Okay. All right. <clears throat> What did Judas do after he betrayed Jesus? A, he left the town. B, he killed himself. Or C, he apologized. Marcus? No. Raquel? No, the answer is B, he killed himself. And you can find this uh, in the scripture for that one either. Okay, uh, I don't know the scripture, but I will say that he hung himself. Yeah. He did kill himself, you know, commit suicide, but in, um, he killed himself by hanging himself. It has a sentence for this one. Read that sentence. Okay, sure. Judas tried to return the money he had been paid for betraying Jesus, but the chief priest wouldn't take it. He threw it on a temple floor and went and hanged himself. Mm -hmm. He hung himself. So that was the scripture right there. Yeah, okay. So Next. How much did... Joseph's brothers received when they sold Joseph into slavery? A, 20 pieces of silver, B, 40 pieces of silver, C, 30 pieces of silver. Cherries. B. Marcus, I mean Marquis. B. She, he, she said B, did she say B? C. <laughs> the answer is A, 20 pieces of silver. And you can find it in Genesis chapter 37, verse 28. When Noah sent out a dove from the ark, what did she come? When Noah sent out a dove from the ark, what did she come back in her mouth? A, a worm, B, a fish, C, an olive branch. Marcus. Mm. Uh, Correct. It's an, it was an olive branch. And you can find this in Genesis chapter 8. Verse 8 through 11. Four. How many times did Joshua march around the city of Jericho on the day the wall fell down? A3, B7, C12. Michael? C. Chairs? B. Correct. The answer is B, and well, it's B and the seven. And you can find this in Joshua. Yo, Joshua chapter 6, verse 15 to 20. Okay, what was the answer, dear? B, seven. Seven times, okay. And, and what is significant about the number seven? Well, they use it a lot in the Bible. They use it a lot in the Bible, that's true. But the significance of it is that it represents completion. Uh, because, yeah. see, God himself created the world in seven days. Okay, gotcha. Okay, next. Um, five. How many days did Jesus... <laughs> fast when he was in the desert? A, 10, B, 20, C, 40. Marquis. Marquis, Marquis. A, B, or C? Just take a guess at it. C, he says C. That's correct, it's 40. And you can find this in Luke chapter four, verse two. <clears throat> All right, he fasted 40 days, okay. One. What was Lot's wife? What was Lot's wife turned into when she looked back at the city, the cities of so Sodom and Gomorrah? A. Stone. B. Salt. C. Dust. Marcus. No. Marquel. The answer is B. Is salt, and you can find this in Genesis. Chapter 19, verse 26. Yeah, she was turned into a pillar of salt. Yes, God had uh, instructed them not to look back, but her, her heart was in tune on behalf of all of her material possessions. And she looked back, and she, she, she died. It has a sentence she, for it. Because she, what was that? It has a sentence for it. It says, okay. why and his family had been instructed not to look back at the cities when they were being destroyed, but Lot's wife did not obey, and Amen. it cost for her life. It cost Amen. her life. Amen, yeah. We really have enjoyed those Bible trivia questions. We're going to take a break, and then after the break, both you and your sister, or just you, one of you are going to sing. You're going to sing for us, right, Cherish? Yeah, you're going to sing for us, Cherish. 
We're going to take a break. By yourself. We're going to take a break. Just see you. 